Hi, it's Elder, and in this video we are going to take a look at how we can use the HD access file. As you know, I'm not a coder, so I don't really get too technical when working with my websites, but there are a couple of things which I always do using the HD access file, and I wanted to share with you these uh, things here in this video. So first of all, let me show you how we can create the HD access file and I will be using the GoDaddy file manager to do that, but you can use your own hosting provider or you can just uh, use uh, your text editor on your computer and then just upload the file to your server. So let's go to my file manager in GoDaddy and as you can see, I have already actually have this file here hd access file but if i didn't have this one i would just go here and type hd access and by the way you can see that the dot is comes before the hd access name and then i would just uh, click create new file and this file will be created there are a couple of things i do using this hd access file and the first one is redirecting the HTTP request to HTTPS. So basically then people are visiting my website. Most of them don't really type HTTPS. They just type HTTP eldarkzala.com. And if they just do that and go to my website, it will show them not secure version of my website. But because I do have the SSL certificate and if you don't, go uh, and set it up because uh, as having SSL certificate is crucial these days. But anyway, so uh, because I do have a SSL certificate, I have the HTTPS uh, version of my website and I want it to automatically be shown even if the people are going, visitors are going to the HTTP version of my website, so known secure version of my website. and we can do that using the HD access file. So I think I already have the code here. So if I open this file and click edit, and as you can see, this is uh, the website of my wife. As you can see, I already have this uh, rewrite rule written. So all of the uh, requests to this domain will be redirected to HTTPS nastasica.com which is the secure version of this website and i will of course copy and share this code this you in the description to this video so let me show you what i mean so if i go to http nastasica.com so just http not https and i press return you can see that it shows me HTTPS version anyway. So this is the one user case. Another thing we can do this HD access file is to redirect the old pages to the new URLs and basically fix the broken links. So uh, let me give you a good example of uh, how we want to use this here. So let's say I had the page on this website nastasica.com and let's say story. Let's say I had this page before, but now I have moved it to about page. But before I moved it, it was already indexed by Google and maybe even posted on some other websites. So the link nastasica.com slash story is already going to stay here forever. So people will try to access this even from the Google search results page or from some forum or maybe from social media from somewhere because you can't fix all of the old links yourself. It's impossible. But if I go to this now, I don't have the page, this, this URL at the moment. And it will show you usually the 404, the missing page error page. At the moment I don't even have this page here, so it's just showing me this not found message. But if I go to HT access file and write the following, so redirect, and I'm going to move it permanently, so I will be writing 301. And I will just need to write two URLs, the old one and the new one. 
So the old one is story, but we don't really need to write the whole URL, just the everything which comes after the domain. So let's say this was story and we are going to replace this uh, link with about, which is active page on this website. So I will just do the same and type about. So the story page will be now redirected to about page. And if I click save and go to the same URL, nastasiko.com slash story, you can see that now it shows the about page. If I go back and remove that and click save again, let's try to go to story again. And as you can see, it's not here anymore. So this works pretty much instantly and we can redirect it to any page we want. So let's say I want to redirect it to one of these recipes I have here. So if I update it, now it will redirect to the recipe number one, which I just specified in the HT access file. So it is very useful. You can use this to redirect the old articles, which are still uh, have links somewhere on the internet, and it will reduce the amount of errors, 404 missing page errors your website gets, and Google will notice it, and it will be just good for your website. So there are some other things you can do using this file, but I'm not going to cover them in this video, and you can just go online and do some research, but uh, these are the two things I'm doing all the time, and I think you should be doing too. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one.